Hey YouTube! Um, today I'm going to be doing, like I promised, a tutorial on the Sleek Acid Palette. And I'm going to be using the four neon shades here and a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, the four neon shades in the middle and this kind of dual chrome raspberry color. Um, the yellow, orange, and pink are going to be on the top lid. The green and the raspberry are going to be kind of a little bit of a liner on the bottom. So let's get started. What I'm using to prime is the e.l.f. eyelid primer just to set everything in place and my of course trusty NYX eyeshadow pencil in milk because it helps the colors to stay brighter and to stay longer and to not creep. Of course if you watch any makeup tutorial videos everybody uses that and you know that. Um, a kind of flat-ish brush that can pack on the color. You can see that it's kind of I already have eyeshadow on my hand. Yay. Tissues to wipe your brushes off. Also have, um, that one was just from uh, Walmart. I, it's like a no brand. Um, the Eyeshadow C brush from ELF. I don't know if I'll be using that one or not. Let's see. The ELF fan brush to wipe out fallouts because that happens. And I got my mascara and my eyeliner here. Just a, uh, a liquid eyeliner from CoverGirl. It's a uh, line exact. And then I have my favorite Mega Plush from Maybelline. So, I already did my face and my eyebrows. So, we'll just get started. And I here go the glasses. I can't see you anymore. And I'm just going to put on some eyelid primer on the top and bottom lid. Because on the bottom, it'll help the colored eyeliner to stay. get a little closer and tilt my light down and this is ridiculously bright. Wow, I can't see. I have to be all the way back here. Okay. Cool. Hey God, you can give me some better eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll just use my glasses. Next time I might try out my contacts. Um, I have contacts that I use. I don't know if I'm putting them in the right place. Oh boy! I have contacts that I wore in like junior high. That was like 12 years ago. So, uh, we'll see with those. <laughs> uh, they always fell out of my eyes. I have astigmatism. It's really hard to get things that fit in my eyes. Okay, now I've got that. I'm going to just let that kind of dry a little bit. <laughs> and this needs to be sharpened. So I got the milk. I'm just going to put that on. And don't use too much of this if you're using it as a base or any time because it will crease. It's just very waxy, but it does work very well. I have to get really close here, so I'm sorry if you can't see too well. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like doing blind makeup. Wouldn't that be a task? Blind makeup. I'm gonna put it on my lower lids later when I do the lower eyeshadow slash liner. Uh, I gotta get a close look at this. I need better lighting. Definitely need better lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's probably good enough. <laughs> probably good enough. Says the amateur novice makeup artist wannabe. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna start in with the inner corner. No, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna start with the middle so I can put on the uh, inner corner to kind of layer over it because the yellow is gonna get washed out. So I'm gonna start with the orange. And get it on my flat, stiffish brush, tapping off the extra. There will be fallout because this stuff is kind of powdery. Um, and on the inner third, inner third, the middle third, just kind of pack, pack it on. There are other things I was thinking about using for this uh, orange because I have um, all but all but three of those uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadows, which are amazing. I have the orange one, which actually does make a really great base for this. 
but I'm not using it today. I'm just using milk. And since I can barely see what it's doing. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. Kind of have to pack on a lot if you want that intense color. Pack it on. I'll wipe off my brush on a tissue. You can use a clean towel, tissue, whatever. Scrubbing it. Oh, you know what? I was. <laughs> I'm going to do um, both eyes. Next time I'll just do one eye and then um, I'll have one eye to do for you. Okay, middle third again. If this isn't exact, I can fix it with blending later. Voila! La. Yes, I do talk to myself like that when I'm doing makeup and other activities. Okay, that was one I want really fast. I think that's even. It looks like it needs a little more. The other eye. Let's just go out like this. Alright, now to wipe off the brush for real. For real, yo. Sorry, I don't know what these brand are. These, most of them are double sided uh, from Walmart. I think it's called like Paris something. They have no name on them, but they're actually really nice for like a cheap old brush. Okay, and then I'm going to add the yellow to the inner corner on both my eyes. Pack that on, pack it off. Yellow. You can see the inner corner. I'm not using a highlight on the inner corner because the yellow is the highlight. Just pack it on there and then I'll be blending it with the orange. I'm kind of blending as I go. I know a lot of people kind of like blend at the end and this and that and the other thing. We'll see how it goes. Because I can only, I see myself kind of blurrily. Blur blurrily? Blurryish? Okay, maybe that's a better camera angle. Um, mm, a little more yellow. A little more to blend it into the around. So when I was wearing, um, I was wearing a look with uh, green and yellow yesterday. And what I had done was, in my crease, I wiped off more of the, the NYX pencil. And later on, I realized that I had no eyeshadow there after I'd put it on. And it was looked like, looked fine and everything. But later on, no eyeshadow on my crease. <laughs> Do put it in your crease, but just n don't, like, glob it on. Ooh, <coughs> I'm probably getting eyeshadow crumbs in my keyboard because I'm at my computer right now. This is kind of the best place with this uh, super hot lamp. And I mean, really super hot. <gasps> I have some Glee songs stuck in my head. I was listening to the, the graduation album on Spotify. I'm no longer like teary about it anymore. Gotten over it. You know, I've heard rumors that, you know, they'll show the uh, graduated characters in the next season. It's going to be on Thursday. Next season. In the fall. It's going to be on Thursday. Mm. That, um, that leaves room for, uh, what was it that I watched on Tuesday as well? I forgot. Oh, and uh, this nifty thing I have, I printed out from, is it the Purse Buzz or Laura Beauty? These, um, Nifty little. It was maybe maybe it was somebody completely different. Oh, it was clearly it was clearly clearly hi. Um, I had to give credit to the right person. Stuff you can um plan out your thing. Really, actually, very. I used the eyeshadow. I put the blue on the eye because my eyes are blue. So <laughs> that's my look. <coughs> Just in case I forget. That's kind of fun to do that. It's like using another medium, like. You know, like you're not using um, paint or colored pencils, you're using makeup. Like I always say, your face is just another canvas. And I'm going to do the pink, which is the burnt hair, the burnt pink. 
I'm getting yellow on my finger. It's tissue over here. It's like, blah! Can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> and I was going to use the tape thing, but nah, I'll just try to do this. And you put a piece of tape to kind of create a straight line so you don't get like a big blob on your on the side of your face. I know I'm sweeping it on right now. I should be packing it on. And see how the pink and the orange kind of, uh, they create this really neat tropical orgy pink in the middle. They blend really well together, the orange and the pink particularly, which are really cool. I'm make sure I'm using the right side of the brush because I can't see. Okay. I might do some blending later because it looks kind of choppy. Need more of you. Next time I'll do the tape trick. Well, if you put, do the, if you do the tape trick, probably do it before you put on your foundation. I have very little foundation on right now. Just didn't feel like putting a whole lot on. Okay, that needs to be like up here more. Gonna blend that in with the orange a little bit. On both sides. Wipe off my brush. Scrub it off. I'm kind of like doing one of these, but I'm kind of doing it fast. Ooh, hungry. I haven't eaten today. No, oh, I ate two mini muffins. We had mini chocolate chip muffins. Yum! Homemade. Okay. So, I think that looks okay. <laughs> I'm going to um, take white, the white that's in the palette. It's actually very sheer. Blend out right by my crease. As Vintage or Tacky or Cora says, rock it in your socket. I'm kind of near my socket. I'm like shouting out to all these beauty vloggers that I like. But yeah, that's just to uh, blend out like the top of it that if you didn't um, get a straight line. I think that looks okay. <laughs> I think. I need, think I, need, I need to actually add more orange that blended so much. Um, if I blowing off of the dust. And a little more yellow to blend back into the orange. So I am doing that blending thing that everybody does. Alright. Uh, there's some elbow hitting my desk there. Maybe I'll edit out these <coughs> parts where I'm scrubbing up the brush. Look at all that color. <coughs> Anyway, um, okay. <coughs> now time for, you know what, I could have... I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I was going to go get a smaller brush. I just have like a tiny little cup with a tiny little amount of brushes that I'm not even using. Actually, I didn't check my fallout. I probably do. Probably some yellow right there. Get away! What I'm doing is using this under my eyes. I gotta get really close, so I could have used a pencil brush. It's on the other end of my other fluffy brush, but meh. I don't want to bring all my brushes in here. I don't have like a vanity or anything cool like that. I just have it all in the bathroom. Did I get anything on there? Whoa! I'm gonna clean my keyboard later if there's any specks of eyeshadow in it. <laughs> uh, I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. I can see if I turn my head like this. I don't know if... Dusty. It's like putting baby powder in your eye. Uh, and when you have two complementary colors, like pink and green, um, don't blend them too far together because then um, complementary colors together will make an ugly brown, like a muddy brown. So that's it for the eyeshadow. Yeah, clean it up later. And I'm just going to be using my 
standard liquid liner. Hope I can see this. Maybe I'll try using this here. And this mirror is already messed the F up. Okay. All of my eyelashes are like all colored. Just putting on with short strokes with uh with gel and with liquid. Short strokes, not big long fat ones, so you don't make mistakes. And there it is mistakes. Yay. Oh, I guess that's going to be a thick line. Okay, that wiped off. <laughs> I don't have Q-tips out. Uh. I'm also not anchoring my eyelid right here, so... It's going to look strange. I just going to look really weird, you guys. Uh, let's just make it really thick. Yay! <laughs> uh, I guess so. Yeah. I like these pen styles a lot better than the kind of dip, like an old ink well. Where did I? Yeah. Let me check for more fallout because no idea. I can't see what I'm doing. If there was any fallout, no, there isn't. Hopefully. And uh, where would you go? Where you at? Close this thing. I guess I could have done some bottom liner. I did yesterday with uh, just um, a twist up pencil. Curl my eyelashes. I can see them. <laughs> if anybody's uh, curious, I think this eyelash curler is Revlon and I've had it forever. Grab one. Purple handle. Let's see if my eyelashes are good enough. This stuff, <coughs> the Mega Plush, apparently has a gel mousse formula, which actually for my eyelid or for my eyelashes is really good because they're really like thin and fair, and just heavy mascaras don't work well. And so the formula in this is really light. So it doesn't weigh them down and you can build it up. It's a really great brush. I don't know if you can see that. My camera doesn't auto focus, so blah. Big blind mascara. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and a pretty ball. Other eye. Someday I will sound professional. <laughs> I'm just doing like one coat, maybe I'll need two, I don't know. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh my gosh, wiggle. If you caught that, go watch that video right now. Later, after you watch me. And if you don't like, oh my gosh, Wiggles comes from, I'll, <laughs> I'll link it. I will link it. It is one of the funniest things I've heard on Tumblr. Okay, I think that's enough. I better get my bottom lashes a little bit. Need to the bottom lashes. Since I'm not doing any under, under eye, under eyeliner. Whatever. I don't like to put liquid eyeliner on my lower line, unless it's like waterproof. Still, I don't like to because there's a high chance of it getting in your eye and I don't really want to do that. So, glasses time, guys. Let's see how this looks and I'll see how it looks for the first time. Not bad, not bad. Amazed. 
five colors. Five colors out of this 12 color palette. So, um, hope you liked, and um, I hope you helped this. I hope this helped you understand um, more on how to pack on neon colors. Neon colors in particular, you have to kind of pack them on. They're chalky. That's just the nature of neon colors. And hopefully my eye looks like this. So, anywho, someday I will actually master the art of those fake lashes and do some kind of smoky eye tutorial like I said before. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!